thanks for coming on such short notice. Well, you did the right thing, Colin. Oh, I didn't know what else to do. He's lost all focus. Every day he's got a new obsession. <laughs> this is a particularly disturbing one. Mommy? Hi, baby. Why'd you get a loom? I was working with luminous fish, and I thought, hey, loom. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? Leonard called me. I know, but why? Because one of the great minds of the 21st century is raising glow-in-the-dark fish and weaving serapes. This is not a serape. This is a poncho. A serape is open at the sides. A poncho is closed. This is a poncho. And neither is a reason to call someone's mother. Really? When was the last time you left the house? I went to the market with Penny. Yeah, that was three weeks ago. Wait, then buckle up. In the next four to eight days, she's going to get very crabby. Sweetheart, your little friend is concerned about you. Yes, well, I'm not a child. I'm a grown man capable of living my life as I see fit. And I certainly don't need someone telling on me to my mother. Wait, where are you going? To my room, and no one's allowed in! Gets his temper from his daddy. Uh, He's got my eyes. I see. All that science stuff, that comes from Jesus. <laughs> now, after a moment of silent meditation, I'm going to end with, in Jesus' name, but you two don't feel any obligation to join in. <laughs> Unless, of course, the Holy Spirit moves you. <laughs> oh, my God, this is the best cobbler I've ever had. It was always Sheldon's favorite. You know what the secret ingredient is? Love. Lard. <laughs> hey, look who's coming. Shh, you'll spook him. <laughs> He's like a baby deer. You gotta let him come to you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Damn it, Sheldon, snap out of it! You're a physicist. You belong at the university doing research, not hiding in your room. You don't hunt, do you? Unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang.